YouTubers and welcome to yet another beer review and yet or yet another horizontal beer review with me, Peter, Peter the Master Prophet. Today I'm gonna try and do horizontal and sours. I've actually never done that before, and I thought it would be fun to do since it's two from the same brewery. Two beers here sent to me from BelgiumBox.com. So thanks a lot to Curtin Sasha for the beers. Both of these are from the big, or uh, from uh, Brewerie F Boom, which is a gooserie or a brewery that makes slime bakes in Belgium. I reviewed the Moria Goose, which was pretty good. Uh, but this is the De Konink line. No, it's, first off, I thought it was from the De Konink Brewery, but this has got nothing to do with them. It's just called De Konink uh, Goose and a uh, Creek. So it's a Creek Lambic and a Goose Lambic. Oh, well, it should be interesting. This uh, it ha I, the info on here is in um, Dutch and uh, uh, and uh, French. Says something like it's this one that it's got two hundred grams of cherries per liter of beer. And it's funny enough, they say you should drink it really cold, and uh, both of them, and that um, they should be stored lying down. Hmm. Well, let's get them poured for you guys. So we got both of the beers poured, guys, and uh, yeah, the creek is of course a dark, dark ruby red color. Oh, one of the creeks on the darker side, and it's actually rather murky. You can't really see through it. It's got a pinkish head. Looks like a creek. <laughs> and the goose looks like a traditional goose. Traditional goose. It's got a, quite a decent amount of carbonation. A nice hazy, orange, golden, yellow kind of color. White head. So yeah, they look pretty nice. Uh, let's start off with the creek. Take all the aroma on this one. Yeah, lots and lots of uh, a, a cherry, and um, it's quite vinous actually. Yeah, um, the, the, the it's like a dark cherry, and also like tart cherry. A little bit of an oakiness in there, but it's not that funky actually. It's not that funky. I mean, you can smell it's a uh, tart, well, it's not sour, but. It doesn't, I don't really get any funk, it's, it's actually kind of all, all cherries, dark cherries and, and sour cherries, and the vineyard note there, it's got the same vineyard, vineyard note as in red wine, maybe like kind of a cherry gummy, kind of cherry candy almost, no, it doesn't really have any funk, but let's try and give it a taste guys, cheers. <laughs> that was disappointing. That reminds me a lot of um, um, Lindemann's Creek. Just this is actually worse because it or worse. Lindemann Creek isn't a bad beer, but it's not an authentic lime pick because it's not really tart. It's just really cherry-like flavored drink. Um, it's got some light chart tartness because cherries cherries are tart, but that's not a true Creek lambic in my opinion, and this isn't really either. The tartness in here is very subtle. It's got a lot of creek flavor, a light sugary flavor to it. A um, little bit of the oakiness in there. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's very drinkable though. Uh, wow, and some sweet sugary notes. That is uh, very, very disappointing. To me, this is a fruit beer more than a creek because um, the tartness is so, so light. I think I forgot to mention that. The uh, creek here is on 5% and the Gerza is on 6 Um Pretty standard creek. I mean, uh, not really a standard creek, pretty kind of boring creek. Rating wise for this one, I'm actually going to give it, uh, I'm going to give it a 60. It's above average, but uh, it, it's not a bad beer. It's above average, but uh, when I see creek that big, I expect a lot more, a lot more sourness. It's almost got a watery mouthfeel. Um, I'd say the body's light. Uh, slightly dry as well. So we got the Guza. Let's take out the aroma. Yeah, that does have a little bit of funk though. It's got a little bit of that wet hay kind of barnyard. But it's, it's on the more subtle side. Get lemony notes. A decent amount of white grapes. See that grapes? It's actually quite lemony. Maybe a little bit of pear. You can smell the tartness. A light vinegar note. This does smell that tart actually. Yeah, it's getting rather mild, but let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Uh, 
Uh, that was better. That was better. Still not the most tart uh, goods I've had. It's more controlled. And not the most complex goods I've had. Um, Boone's Mobile Goose is a lot better than this, in my opinion. Uh, that, was, that was a goose that really surprised me. The flavors there, the first, or let's start with the body, because it didn't do that on the other one. It's light, it's got a dry mouthfeel. It has this light, actually, oaky aftertaste. And also, the most dominant flavor here is the lemon, the real light lemony flavor. <coughs> Sorry, and it's got a decent amount of carbonation too. A little bit of that hay kind of fungus, a little bit of like a dusty old character. Um, it's pretty straight on the highway kind of goes it. Um, little bit of a of, of that barnyard in there, but it's very very subtle, and it's also got the white grapes. The pear was more in the aroma, but again, this is actually a really really mild goose. If you have never had lamb mix before, this is a good place to start. But it, when you've had a few like me, uh, this just doesn't really cut it anymore. <laughs> uh, but still, they're okay beers. I'm gonna give this a 60 as well. It's above average. Do uh, you know what? It's actually a little bit better than the, the, the Creek, because this has the sourness, it's just not as complex. I'm gonna give this a 65. So a 60 for the Creek, and a 65 for the Goose from the Conic, or the, the, the Conic line Boone has. Uh, guys, let me know what you think of the, the Conic Goose or the, the Conic Creek if you've had it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'm gonna say cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next beer review.